Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Dex Lab Analytics. My name is Niharika Rai and I am creating a visualization series using Python programming language. Today I will be talking about uh, a library called matplotlib which basically helps you create very flexible plot. So if you want to know more about this library, please keep on watching. There are two kinds of uh, ways in which you can basically make your graphs in Python or in particular in matplotlib library one is method based and the other is object oriented in method based what you do is that you have some predefined methods in python which you can directly use to create beautiful plots like a line plot like a scattered plot, histograms and so on and so forth. Whereas in, whereas in object oriented programming you first build your canvas and then you decide where you want to plot your graphs here or here and how you want your plots to look like to be like like you can you can change the line width in this particular library you can also change the way your line looks so you can have dotted lines you can have star shaped plots you can have diamond shaped plots you can also change the colors of your lines and you can also make multiple plots one on top of other like this is my canvas now the line which I am drawing here is called axis A X E S which basically is nothing but where or uh, you want to plot your graph on your canvas. So it, it is nothing but the location of your plot. Now here I have a plot and I can add another plot in the back end of this graph as well so this is how much that is how much flexibility you get by using your uh, matplotlib library so without wasting any any further time let's go to our jupyter notebook which is basically a tool which has been provided by the anaconda ide wherein we are going to write our codes this is my jupyter library uh, jupyter uh, notebook sorry and in this notebook I am going to write my codes so if you do not have a, a matplotlib library already installed you need to install it first so for that you are simply going to write exclamation mark pip install matplotlib this exclamation mark changes your cell into a command line and from there you can directly you know press shift tab after writing this code and then you can install your library but obviously you need internet in case if you want to install any library in particular so here since my library was already installed it says that requirement already satisfied in case um, you do not have this library it will it will show you the text as successful installation or something like that once your library is installed what you have to do is you have to import your library so here i am writing import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt so pyplot is basically the module in which you have all the methods to create your plots and as plt is nothing but you are giving just a pseudo name to this long name instead so that if you want to you know use this um, 
use this uh, library or you want to call all the methods within this library you do not have to write this long name again and again instead you can write plt and then you can just call out all the methods which is this particular library or a module has now i will press shift tab to import this particular library and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to write percentage matplotlib in line now what this does is it basically helps you build your plots within the parameters of this jupyter notebook so if your plot is large enough it keeps the keeps the plot within the boundaries of this jupyter notebook now let's begin and make uh, make or create some kind of a data and then visualize how the data looks using matplotlib library so here i am importing numpy as np again as is nothing but aliasing and we are giving a pseudo name to this numpy library and here i have x variable and within that x variable i am i am just saving a data which or an array in particular making an array which has 1 3 4 6 8 and 10 random integers here now i can also get the mean of this particular data so x dot mean and parenthesis within the print uh, print method if i run that it will give me mean of this this particular data so here it is 5.333 now i am also creating another variable that is np dot array and within that that variable i am using the same integers as above but the placements are different and taking the mean of the same y dot mean i get the same mean as x variable now i am going to use plt which was my pseudo name for matplotlib library and i am just going to write a full stop just write in front type a full stop just in front of that and that what this full stop does is it basically helps you call out all the methods which plt already has so if i press um tab i'm just going to remove this code and i press tab you see i get a list here and these are all the methods which matplotlib library has to offer and from that i am going to write p and it is going to prompt me with all the all the given methods which start with p so p l o t plot and here i am going to use that x variable which i have already created which has data 1 3 4 6 and 10 and i'm going to press shift tab and now i can see that this is how my data looks in reality that x data looks in reality and same thing i'll do with pl with the y data as well so i'm going to plot y as well and then i'm going to compare these two plots so plt dot plot y and then shift shift enter now you see even though we have used the same integers here 1 3 4 6 8 10 and 6 8 4 1 3 10 if you want you can just pause the video right now and just compare the integers which are given here in the x and the y variable now the mean are same as well but once we plot it the variations in the data are quite different one is upper sloping and the other has varying slope and you see the x and the y axis basically the the basically the x axis and the y axis just has the range of your data and nothing else so it automatically this method automatically gives the uh, range of your data you don't need to give it in particular so now what i am going to do is 
I am going to create another data here that is x, y and z by using import numpy as np. You can pause the video whenever you feel like and check what the data I have used to create multiple plots. Yeah. Okay. Now I have created x variable, y variable and z variable again and I'll be using this data in my future plots. Now if you want to plot if you want to plot a graph which has both x-axis and y-axis then you'll use within the plot method x and y variable and then what is this red it is r it is nothing but the color of the plot or the color of the line so from where i get this from where do i get this r i will simply press shift tab within the parenthesis these these brackets are called parenthesis and within the parenthesis i will press shift tab and here i have entire documentation of the method what to use how to use it's all written here now i'll scroll down and see character color so i have used this r from by from this documentation only so r is basically the 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 code for red shade and we also have b for blue g for green r for red c for crayon m for magenta y for yellow k for black and w for white so if i want a blue color within within the quotation i will write b here small b and my graph will my line will have a blue color now you can also change the labels of the x axis and the y axis if you want to plt dot x label method will help you create or type in the label which you want to put on the in the x axis i'm just going to press uh, hash here add a hash here okay now if you want to add x label on a label on the x axis you will use x label method and within that within the quotations you will write sales or whatever you want to if i want to write x array i can write x x x array as well x array and you see we are here we have x array written here okay now if i want to add the uh, change the label on the y axis in particular add the y axis label i will use y label method again these are all coming from pressing the tab just after this full stop so if i if i write y so you see we have a uh, we have a method here y label wherein we can just you know um, write down the the text for our y axis i'm just going to remove this now here i have written price now if i want to add title i'll simply use plt dot title and i will write sales and price data so before that it had the x axis had sales data all hypothesized matlab all hypothesized means that all assumed um and i'm going to change this back to sales so that it makes sense sales and the title of the graph is sales and price data okay now if i run this you'll see we have a title of the graph that is sales and price data and then we also have the uh, y label as price and x label as sales now if i want to add text within my graph if i want to add text within my graph i'll use a method called annotate which helps me write or mention any text if we want to within the graph and we can do that 
by simply mentioning the coordinates at which we want the text to appear so here i have hi or you can say sales statistics sales now see the title now see that the text at these coordinates will change at 2 and 8 coordinate i can matlab i can attach this text within this graph with the help of these coordinates and the annotate method let's run this code shift enter now the see here is here you see that this particular code do, does not show anything because because here the text has been added to 2 comma 8 coordinate that is 2x and 8y but here you see we are the y axis is starting from the 12th integer so so we need to we need to write here the coordinates which are actually available in our data so now you see that that at 2 and 16 we have a we have a text sales statistics here we can also shift this so if i want it to be a slightly on the left side I'll write 1.5 and here I have the text shifted towards the left side because I changed the data on the x axis or the x side. So you can use annotate method and you can also add multiple multiple values. So if I want to add a text 105 at, at coordinate 5 and 20, I can have that text written here simultaneously using this code and the coordinates available to us according to the data so it is very important to know how your data looks like when you are annotating something you can also use a method i'm just hashing it down called plt.text or text method in which we will be writing the coordinates separately for the x-axis here and for the y-axis here so suppose that we want to write sales at coordinates 5 we cannot have 6 as our uh, y-axis uh, integer because the the range starts from 12 so I can write 13 here for y axis here see i have at 5x and 13y sales text added to my graph and we can again do that simultaneously to have multiple text attached to our graph now you see that here i have a plt.show method now this particular method basically is is written here because if i if i do not write this particular method what will happen is that whatever text we are using the the coordinates of the same will be also mentioned above the graph so if we don't want that and we only want a graph to be uh, visible on the screen for that we will be using plt dot show method So it will only showcase our graph that's it now 
if you want to plot multiple graphs now for multiple graphs picturization of multiple graphs what i am going to do is i will add i will have to add rows that on how many rows do i want my graph to be and in how many rows or columns i want to have my graph to be plotted so suppose that i i have written uh, two rows and two columns that means i am going to have a i have i am going to have four areas or four places wherein i can plot my graph it's similar to matrix so here i'll have a plot row 1 column 1 row 1 column 2 graph number 2 graph number 1 row 2 column 1 graph 3 row 2 column 4 so in matplotlib we will be mentioning in how many rows and how many columns do we want our graph to be and then are we going to plot the graphs or use the method called subplot Now let's move back to our Jupyter notebook to see how this subplot method works. Now we are using plt dot subplot method to mention in how many rows and how many columns we want our plot, and also what is the number of my plot we are plotting. So here we have two rows, two columns. and the plot we are uh, making is plot number 1 after writing this we will be writing plt dot plot similar to the the codes we wrote above so plot x axis y axis color of the line and if you want to add title to the graph you can also add title that is plt dot title as we did as we did before title plot number 1 now for our second plot here i have we can also add annotation as well so for the second plot i have plt dot subplot two rows two columns and plot number 2 we are plotting our second plot here then again plt dot plot now we are just changing the places we are only changing the data so at x axis we will have our y data and on y axis we are going to have our x data and the color of the line will be blue and we are also adding plt dot x label that is uh, the uh, on the second plot we are adding x axis label that is x axis and then we can again annotate as well then on we have four places where we can plot our graph so we are going to repeat the process that is again we are going to write plot plt dot subplot two rows two columns third plot then plot our data we had already uh, created a z data or a z variable so on x axis we have z data and on y axis we have x data and the plot color is green and then again we are going to use plt dot subplot for plot number 4 so plt dot plot x axis y axis and we have that red color as our line color and we are going to press shift enter now you see we used a title we used a title on the first plot method we use a title method on the sub first plot so we have here here above we have we have a, a title over the first plot then then we have the second plot then we have the third plot and fourth plot so if i run this entire code i will have i will have 
plots like so now you see we do not we cannot see the axis of we cannot see the axis which we have mentioned here which we have mentioned here under the plot number 2 that is x axis because the the the, the data is overlapping so for that what we are going to do to remove this overlapping thing what we are going to do is we are going to use a method plt dot press tab tight layout and then run this code now you see that we have our x axis label available uh, visible in front of us so this was happening just because of the overlapping of the plots on each other so by adding a method called tight lay uh, tight layout you can just remove that overlapping error and get your axis visible so that is it for today's video and in the next video i'll be talking about how you can create um multiple plots using canvases that is on object uh, that is object based programming and i will also be talking about how you can uh, how you can create multiple multiple plots in object oriented programming as well also i'll be telling you how to use rgb color codes to color your lines or your graphs in particular and that's it thank you for watching my video if you like this video please click on the like button and also subscribe for any further updates on this series bye bye take care and have a nice day ahead thank you bye bye